hunts kind of that are, are far have, have in the past sort of been, you know, oh, we're gonna drive over to Eastern Washington. And, you know, it's not that far. Now, I mean, we're going to the Midwest, we're going to Nebraska, and, you know, that's halfway across the map. Totally unfamiliar terrain, unfamiliar territory, um, and just kind of diving in and seeing what we could see. Man, last year when Colt and I were talking about coming out there, it was going to be cold, snowy, you know, frigid temperatures. And that's, you know, it was the start of December. We were getting into the colder weathers, you would hope, expect, but uh, not this year. Hopefully we're hunting somewhere around this vicinity. I'll be down. Anything like this, I'm, I'm good. I would make the trip. The, you know, quintessential Midwest waterfowl kind of feel. Um, I, I, there, there was just a, a lot of hype to go and do that, and we were, I mean, I know myself anyway, was really excited to head that direction. Um, we were staying with uh, Colton Kesling and his buddy Dylan at the BDO Outfitters Lodge. Um, we were right on the river, awesome setting, had his own little private lake, and uh, just a sweet scenario of, a, of like a lodge feeling. No, this, no, this, this is, is awesome. unreal. It sleeps well. Ouch. So. My girlfriend, all the time, my girlfriend insisted on all the Christmas decorations, so that's, hey. that, that's her little touch. Dude, are you scared? This is the joke. Well, when it's this warm, it's interesting because, yes, we might be able to get in on a, on a banger field hunt in the afternoon, but we could go set up and beat the piss out of them on the lake in the morning. And it's totally unexpected, but it happens. I mean, and we're going to do that tomorrow. We're going to bang them up. I'm glad that you think that. Um, you just said it, so we're gonna do it. Okay. So then Absolutely. at like 8.30 though. <laughs> we, we gotta go scout. scout. We can wake up and make coffee and a breakfast and everybody everybody down. rolls out at 7 o'clock and we go scout with three different rigs. I don't care. No, I why just, don't, there's no point of not, I mean, we should go shoot tomorrow morning. <laughs> it's been really warm, uh, unseasonably warm, you know. Uh, up north hasn't really gotten hit with any weather. We have birds here, we just don't have the weather to push them off of roosts and loaf, you know, to go feed in the morning. And when they do feed, they feed right at last light. So it's made it pretty difficult this year, but we'll see. We're hunting the lake today. Uh, I'm kind of making it set up like a loaf. Uh, got Canada strung out down the bank, into the water, and then up into the grass. We got a good panel blind hide up against the bales, fighting no wind and warm weather, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully, uh, hopefully what does fly over, we can con convince them to come in. Uh, you know, with all the time that I've spent with Trev and some of the other, you know, guys that we have scouting is like easily 90% of the equation. If you can put yourself where birds want to be, it just makes the job so much easier. You know, for us, after the first morning of not having any success right off the bat, I think the fire really got lit. You know, we're, we're, we're scouting and we're seeing birds in the air, maybe some of the most birds in the air I've seen. You know, there's a refuge sitting there and they're kind of just going back and forth. We got a huge grind of, that looks like snows and specks. I think there's some candidates in there, but mainly snows and specks. I'm just gonna send these pins off to Colton. Can we shoot this one? We wanna shoot this one. This is thick, but dark. Uh, no. So we ended up going to uh, option B, and that was to go run traffic in the afternoon that was close to that refuge. So smooth. They're just sifting on the waters. They're not doing anything. It's like 45 degrees out. They don't have to eat. <laughs> don't help out too much. They're fasting. They're fasting. <laughs> <laughs> These birds are intermittent fasting.
no, I mean, every, splitting us down the flyway, couldn't put ourselves underneath a whole bunch of them and just didn't get very many opportunities. I mean, it's, it's too warm. They're not under pressure. They don't need to eat. Feels good. Well, at this point, we're all wondering, like, what, what's the next step? And everyone's looking at each other, like, who can we call? What can we do? Yeah, you gotta love it. There's a reason why they sell chili and cinnamon rolls at the same time at Runza. Thanks. Do they? Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you kidding me? It's a Nebraska thing. Can you describe the flavor profile? Is it good? It's salty and sweet. Don't knock until you try it. I do believe in that. That's actually good. Oh, my God. Yeah. No way. Hot. Like cold. Fahrenheit hot. <laughs> spicy. Sweet. Yeah. He said salty, not spicy. I feel Both. misled. Depends on how you look at it, life. I see. Hey, kind of works. Oh, yeah, of course. It's the best. Okay. Delicious. So I take it the guys from the West Coast knew nothing about no. that. No. 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 Uh, nerds. It's because we have to deal with all this cold I weather. Yeah. Warms you up in the winter. What do y'all do? Milk in your chili here? Oh, what? what? Uh, no. Do milk in the chili. <laughs> now, now it's now weird. Now it's weird. We ended up going shooting out in Iowa with uh, with a group of dudes. A group of, of local guys, they had a small roost where the birds hadn't been shot yet, and so we kind of dumped all of our goose hunting resources into that particular morning, hoping that we were going to get something done. Can't wait to hear it go boom. There wasn't a great hide, but again, in kind of the spirit of the trip, we're saying, okay, yeah, there's there's some negatives, but what are we gonna not try it? You know, that's that's not an option. Did that flock just turn and come right at us? Yeah. Right at the buzzer, we're just about ready to pack up. The entire roost gets up and comes right at us. And so we're laying down, you're trying to hide up as best you can. It was just a really difficult setup. Swirling winds, uh, sun right in our face, and so, like the rest of the hunt, man, they just lit about 200 yards too long, and we just turned into professional bird watchers. That's bad. So, well, we're gonna, right. yeah, we're gonna keep grinding. Yep, grind it out. Uh, are you guys gonna be staying in Missouri? Are you guys just gonna go back? Yeah. No, we're gonna stay there. We literally just pulled out all the stops. Uh, luckily, uh, one of our staff yeah. members, Matt yeah, Zilla, yeah. had uh, had a connection with Harris Outfitters, which was a state and a half away from us. But right after the goose hunt, we were bailing. We were driving straight to Missouri. They claimed that they had 15,000 ducks. We've got to get somewhere else to make something happen. Everybody's spirits were high. Everybody was on the same page, and we packed up and hit the road. ended up in Missouri. Our hopes started to pick back up and we thought, okay, maybe now we're in the right spot. Again, you know, you can't help but think, okay, third time's a charm here. Third state's the charm. Tyson put us on what had the potential to be a great situation. We were in uh, another cornfield right at the top of it. Uh, they had everything set up, kind of the same thing, even though you're a state away, the weather was still the same. We sat out in the bright sunshine and we watched roughly 15,000 ducks get up, skirt around us on the left and land in the field next to us, not the same field that they had been landing in for the previous two or three days. The plan for the morning was to go shoot snow geese. It was kind of the same thing. It was a little frosty, no wind. You know, they're, they're circling above big group. And Trev, you know, I heard Trev say, oh, we got him, we got him. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, I cannot believe it. If these birds come down, you know, all gonna be worth it. And then they landed 100 yards behind us. Ended up on that day, we did get one spec. Kind of wish we didn't. You know, a full zero, one, you know, we got one. We got one. <laughs> <laughs> it 
it's just the way it goes. That's hunting. I mean, you know, every hunter has, you know, been on been on trips that sound perfect on paper, and then you know, for some reason, it doesn't work out. And you know, the only bad thing you can do is is stop hunting. Man, back in the home state, you know, we kind of get back into your comfortable zone. Other than that, the weather actually started playing with us too. So we actually had weather. Birds were pushing down. It got colder. Um, the hunting's been hunting's been decent, you know. Been having having some more bird action, and you kind of just got to go and do it, man. A couple opportunities in eastern Washington coming up. We got an opportunity going up, going up north. We're gonna get back out there, and we're gonna we're gonna get some good hunts. Yeah, it is the first time we've hunted since our Nebraska trip. We got kind of a messed up wind for our situation, but we're gonna make the best of it. Feels super powerful with this thing. <laughs> If we were limiting out every single day and having great shoots, then there would be nothing left. You can have good times and you have bad times with it, and that's the chase. I know that I can do everything in my power to make this hunt a good one, but there could be some other nature that's going to change it. Drastic moves. Well, you still got to go try it. This fog is very nice. Hey, let's stay positive, guys, okay? Let's stay positive. I know, it hurts. And, uh, it's been a tough day, but we still managed to scratch 20, so, you know, yeah, it wasn't ideal, but we made it work. That mentality, it's, it's something that everybody in this group does have, and we continue to just try and try and try again and firm believer in, in the hunting karma and if you're not going to put in your dues that uh, you're not going to reap the rewards and so the, you you have to keep on trucking this is you know the the little engine that could um and so you, you never know i mean you literally never know until you try so let's try yeah i'm still pretty good it's not bad I can see it when it's like negative five degrees. You'd want to eat this. Beautiful breakfast sandwiches, so right on. How about you? Can you do that? 